For today's makeup lesson, I want to share with you this Olympic level speed eye makeup look. I've timed this over and over again and consistently got this to under two minutes for this application. And you end up with this sultry smoky eye that works for so many occasions. I'm also going to share how you can make this work best for you and go through it slowly step by step, but let's just see it in super speedy mode so you can see how fast and simple this look is. For the first step, we're going to apply an eyeshadow primer all over the lid using a damp sponge. Then we're going to apply a slightly lighter shade or even translucent powder from the crease line up to the brows, a darker shade right at the lash line using a pencil brush. This is going to create that smoky effect and then blend that out using a mid-tone or even your bronzer or your contour as long as it's matte. Blending this starting on the lid, then blending this into the crease line and above working upwards towards the brows. Just make sure you do leave a slight gap underneath the brow art just to create that lifted effect right underneath there, keeping that blend moving. Then reapply right at the lash line if you need to create a little bit more smokiness. Use whatever's left over on that pencil brush right underneath the eyes to create that smoky, sultry effect. And then, of course, finish off with mascara. Now let's do it again, but slower on the other eye. I'm trying to learn ASL at the moment. It's super fun, but I'm not great at it, but I'm trying. I'm going to really slow this down so you can understand each step and that way you can learn to do this in two minutes. But firstly, let's start off with the parts of the eye. We have the lid. This can be visible or not with the eyes open. I'm actually having a good hood day, so my hood isn't as heavy as usual, so you can see more of my lid today. You then have the crease, and the crease is where the lid creases into the eye shape. But this is actually the crease line. When people talk about applying a product to the crease, what they really mean is this line and then fade it upwards towards the eyebrows. Now, as always, whenever we create an eye makeup look, we like to start off with a good base. For dry lids like me, I like to just use a mattifying concealer to create a smooth base and give the eyeshadow something to hold on to. But for oily lids, you do want to use an eyeshadow primer. This will help create a barrier between your skin and the eye makeup to stop the oils from breaking down the shadow. And to speed up the process, I would recommend using a lightly damp sponge for a very even layer. The first brush that you're gonna need is a fluffy brush. This is the E26 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics and you need this brush, it is essential. Now the way that we hold this brush is gonna be a little bit different. We want full control, so we're gonna hold it in the bunny position. The bunny position is two fingers on top, pinched between the thumb, ring, and pinky. And I call it the bunny because we have two fingers on top, kind of like bunny ears. So holding this brush, you want to apply an eyeshadow that's at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, and this should be matte. You can even use your face powder as long as it's brightening. And what you want to do is focus on the crease line, blending all the way upwards towards the brows and right underneath the eyebrows. This will help speed up our blending process later and make it easier. You just want to avoid the lid because we want that primer or that base that we've applied to really grab hold of the eyeshadows. Now you can skip this step altogether, but it really does speed up your application. Now I want you to put that fluffy brush down for a minute and pick up a pencil brush. This is the E23 by Blank Canvas Cosmetics. I like to hold this like I'm holding a pen. So one finger on top, holding in the middle of the handle because this will give us enough control for this step. We're going to apply a dark eyeshadow, so as dark as you want to go. Now for beginners, I want you to practice with a clean brush. This is going to be applied along the lash line, so be sure that you can see what you're doing by looking down in a mirror and practice your pressure with a clean brush before you pick up anything. Now when you're ready, take a little bit of that dark eyeshadow, tap off the excess, rest your pinky on your cheek, and I like to start in the middle. What we're doing is this pushing and gliding motion, almost stamping the eyeshadow on. If you're new to makeup, aim for your lashes. This will just make sure you get really close to them. Sometimes with beginners, they really struggle with placement aiming, so I like to almost overemphasize where they need to aim. So aim like you're trying to hit your lashes and you'll make sure you're gonna get it in the right place. You're basically coating from the inner to the outer edge of the lash line. Now, the more sheer the layers you're applying, the deeper this will look in the long term, or you can apply it twice, so once now and once after the next step but you should end up with something that looks like this. Now put down the pencil brush and pick up the fluffy brush again, and this time we're gonna be holding it like a pen instead of the bunny position because we don't need too much pressure. And we're going to be applying an eyeshadow that's at least one shade darker than your skin tone, so think of your bronzer or your contour as long as they're matte. Now aim for above the lash line line that we already created, just above that area, and sweep this over and across the lid. Just focus on the lid for now. 
If you feel like you need to, you can sweep down into that darker eyeshadow. Just don't over blend. Now focus on the lid as you blend, making sure you're looking down in the mirror so you can see the shape that you're creating. Check to make sure that we don't have any harsh lines, but also don't over blend either. Keep some darkness right at that lash line and you should end up with something that looks like this. Now take a little bit more of that mid-tone and sweep this above the lid. So starting in the crease, blending upwards and fading out. A little trick is to bring your hand slightly higher so it's almost at eye level and that way you're sweeping across. But remember, as you're blending, you still want to leave a small little gap underneath the eyebrows because we still want to have some brightness there to create a lifted eyebrow look. Now, if you need to, reapply a little bit of that darker eyeshadow, but only if you need to. It might be as dark as you need it to be. It's totally up to you. Now, if you notice a little bit of fallout on your lashes, a little trick that I like to do is take a liner that matches my mascara and just coat the little fallout bits. Now, you can do this with mascara by really coating the lashes, but it actually takes a lot longer. It's so much easier just to dip in with a little bit of liner and just coat the little dots that might have dropped. Now take that pencil brush again and use whatever's left over on it to sweep this underneath the lashes, right underneath the lashes for that smoky finish. I like to press down on the brush to create a 90 degree angle so I can just go straight across, but I know that some people kind of struggle with that. So what I would recommend doing is bringing your hand nice and high, making sure that the tip of that pencil brush is hitting right underneath the lashes and try looking upwards so you can see what you're doing. And what you're doing is sweeping from the center out and in, working right underneath the lashes. Then finish off with mascara. And I like to tap the mascara right on top of the lower lashes so I'm not pulling it downwards. So what this is gonna do is create some depth instead of length. So we're not pulling the eyes down. We're just creating that smoky effect right at the lashes. And there you go. A sultry smoky eye that you can do in two minutes with a little bit of practice. It's about two minutes per eye. And I like to just aim for like five minutes overall just to give yourself that extra minute just for any little issues. Like if your brush just rolls away from you. Let me know if you wanna see a quick face makeup look as well and if you try this out let me know if over time you get a little bit faster and faster as you go i'd love to hear what your timing is for this and maybe we can do like a fun little speed run challenge also i know that some of my links haven't been working my illness has been really bad lately so it's just been hard to like redo all of the entire thing it's just been such a struggle but i am working on it i promise and i might just do an entire video on the products that i use because some people haven't been very happy with me and some people haven't been leaving the best comments but i just don't like to push products than anyone and what works for me might not work for you so I just thought it'd be better to share the information on the type and style of products that I use so that it's very inclusive and it's customizable for anybody who's watching but from all the comments I guess that isn't the most helpful approach so I'll do a video on the products that I use the most often and then maybe give some examples of other brands that you can try out in comparison to what I use and hopefully that will answer any questions that people have been asking but I will I'll have that up soon I promise and I'll try to fix all of the links but I will see you guys in the next one be kind to yourself be kind to others and i'll see you soon bye sorry i rambled there for a little bit sorry about that okay bye